Hello there. Let's get started. The first thing that you gotta know about WebAssembly is that code will look a little bit different from what you're used to in other programming languages. And the main reason for that is because in WebAssembly text format, code is written as this one big S expression. What is an S expression? It is a textual way of representing trees. And to better explain what that means, uh, let me switch on to a drawing. Okay, so let me show you a little snippet of WebAssembly code. So don't mind the syntax too much, um, or the actual content. Just understand this is a snippet of code of WebAssembly, and the point that I want to get across is that this is an S expression. And what it's representing is a tree with well, a root, a node, just the usual uh, data structure that you're probably familiar with from computer science. So what this is representing is the following. Okay, so this is a tree, and all WebAssembly modules, they are bounded by, well, I already spoiled it, all WebAssembly code is bounded by a module. And from this module, which is, in this case, the root of the tree, we have child such as memory and functions and whatnot. So that's the first important piece of info that you have to know about WebAssembly. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, let's get to write some code. So what I'll do first is I'll create a file called basics, you can name it whatever you like, and give it a dot what. Dot what stands for WebAssembly text format, which later on we'll learn how to convert to a dot wasm, which is what we actually use in um, the browser. Okay, so before I write some code, I'm just gonna kind of set up a layout of what I'll be talking about with comments. So back in a bit. Okay, so as you can see, um, the syntax for creating functions is super straightforward. We have, um, as usual, the parentheses to, the to show that we're in a new node of a tree. We have the keyword func for function. And then we have a signature, which are parameters and the return. We have uh, locals which is just typed variables, and we have the, the body, which is a linear set of instructions. Um, other than that, data types that we have in WebAssembly are I32, I64, F32, and F64. And as you're probably familiar, these are integers, 32 bits, 64, and these are floats, 32 bits, and 64. So let's write our first function. So func, um, I'm not going to give it a name, this is going to be a nameless function, and it's going to have a parameter i32, another parameter i32, and a return type uh, of i32. Then after this, we could have locals, and we could have a body. Okay, so nothing too exciting, but just to start off, um, you can see some keywords, you can see, uh, well, as I described previously, func, then param, which stands for parameters, and return, which stands well, of course, for return. And yeah, nothing too exciting, but um, stick around for the next video. We'll see, we'll see some actual code. 